of this shooting, and this particular school is in that Littleton School District where Columbine happened back in 1999. Jane Velez Mitchell. And there are 2,229 students that attend the high school, so you're talking about a lot of kids. Now, that picture we just saw, that video of kids uh, milling about, um, they ex appear extremely calm. Mm -hmm. They do not appear panicked. They are not running. And uh, I'd be interested to know from Mike Brooks what that indicates to you, because to me, just <laughs> a, on a gut level, it seems sort of comforting that they're not, you know, racing. Okay, hang on. We'll get that from Mike, but I want to go to scene in Joe Johns. He's our justice correspondent. We'll get to, to Mike in just a little bit. Joe, you have some new information for us. Uh, just a sliver, uh, talking to law enforcement officials in Washington, D.C., especially the FBI, we're told at this stage they are just monitoring the situation, watching it, because it's not clear how serious this is, as Mike said. It appears to be that the law enforcement officials on the ground, uh, at least for a while and maybe still, are treating this as a potential active shooter situation, and, uh, but FBI officials caution that the first reports that come in on things like this are often not right and we know from past experience very recent past experience even that there have been occasions when people thought that there was an active shooter inside a school building or uh, on a university campus as happened here in washington dc just two days ago and it turned out either there was nothing found or uh, the shooting that people thought occurred on the campus actually occurred off the campus